We have to leave the baby. We gotta go right now. But he is our son. I don't want to lose him. It's for the best. Goodbye, my sweet angel. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. A baby? Where are your parents? Wait, where are you going? You're leaving your child. Hey, get back here. You can't just abandon this baby. It was just born. Oh, man. I just can't leave this baby here. Don't worry, little one. He'll be safe with me. Please, there's gotta be something you can do. For the last time, I don't have any information on your parents. I just turned 18. I was hoping you guys would have a little bit more information than nothing at all. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Maybe you should go home and celebrate your stupid birthday with people who take care of you. Fine, you're so rude. Oh, I have to leave now. I have surgery in 10 minutes and there's going to be traffic. Oh, I need to get there on time. Hey, Dad. Oh, Dylan, hi. I really have to go. I don't have time for this. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, my stethoscope. <laughs> You're right. Thanks, son. No, it's my birthday today. Oh, my goodness, of course. Oh, I promise I didn't forget. I've just been so busy. Here, look. I even got you a present. A camera? Didn't you buy this last week for yourself? Oh, come on, son. It's the thought that counts. I hope you like it. Yeah, it's it's great, Dad. Thanks. Have a great birthday, son. I love you. Yeah, love you too, Dad. Hey, Bryce, check it out. Huh. Yo, found your real parents yet, you stupid idiot? Oh, <laughs> good one, dude. Could you guys please not do this today? It's my birthday, and I really don't need this right now. Oh, is the little baby upset? Oh, yeah, did your fake doctor dad get you that camera? Hey, what the heck, dude? Looks like we've got us a fancy camera, Ben. Oh, you want it back, loser? Come and get it. Ugh, Bryce, Ben. <laughs> Give it back, guys. Seriously, just cut it out. Oh, you want the dumb camera? Then you'll have to find it, loser. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Ugh, great. Where could those jerks have put it? Maybe over here? Oh, here it is. Finally found it. Huh, so you're the one who's been stealing all my lab equipment? What? No, I... Save it! You're in big trouble, young man. Mr. McCorkle, you have to believe me. I didn't take anything. It wasn't me. Until I see some proof, you're expelled, Dr. Thomas. I would have expected more from a doctor's son. Figured you would have raised him right. Huh, stupid kid stealing my stuff. I thought I raised you better than this. Stealing school property? You did, and you have to believe me. I didn't do this. This isn't just about the lab equipment, is it? Does this have something to do with your parents? Well, not exactly. I just want to know who they are. I told you already. I've taken care of you since the day you were born. Your parents abandoned you at the hospital, Dylan. But I need to know why. Why did they just leave me? There, there's got to be a reason. Why does it matter? They were terrible people for abandoning you. And I've done my best for you. Because they weren't. Well, maybe they had a reason. And I deserve to know why. Well, you have plenty of time to think about it at home. Let's go. Wow, you're getting the hang of that camera pretty quickly, considering you've only had it for a few days. Yeah, it's been a good way to keep my mind off of stuff, especially after getting expelled. Yeah, tough break. What are you going to do about that whole mess? I don't know yet, Mac. I need to find a way to prove that I didn't do it. I just can't let them think I'm guilty. You know, in all those crime shows I watch, they always try to get photographic evidence. Why not use your camera for that? Photographic evidence? Why didn't I think of that? If you go back to the school and snap some shots of who I was actually stealing the equipment, they'll have proof that it wasn't you. It's like real-life detective work. If I can catch them in the act, then I can definitely clear my name. Mac, you're a genius. See? I knew watching all those crime shows would come in handy someday. Tonight, I'm gonna head to school and set up my camera. And if those real thieves come back, I'll catch them red-handed. Hey, just be careful, though. You get caught, we'll get in even more trouble. Uh, but it's worth the risk. I have to prove I'm innocent. Oh, oh, man, I'm getting tired. Been here all night. I haven't seen anything. Wait. Oh, it's awesome that idiot took the fall for us. <laughs> Seriously. Now I don't think Dylan is the one taking all this stuff. And meanwhile, we keep selling it and buying our video games. I should have known those two were behind this. 
No, no, the flash. Uh, what was that? Oh, no. Uh, let's go check it out. Oh, I need to get out of here fast. Yo, I don't see anyone. Oh, no, it must have been like a bird or a UFO or something. Since when do birds cause flashes, dude? I'm not a scientist. Let's just go. Here's your proof, Mr. McCorkle. What are these? Pictures I took last night. The real lab equipment thieves are Bryce and Ben. Ah, I should have known. Those idiots. And you did all of this on your own? Yes, sir. I figured they'd return to the scene of the crime once I was expelled. Huh. Well, you know, I had you all wrong, Dylan. I don't say this often, but, uh, I apologize. I feel like a big fat idiot. Well, now you know the truth. So, can I come back to school? Absolutely. I'll speak to the principal at once and make sure you're reinstated. And your record is wiped clean. Thanks. And, uh, what about Bryce and Ben? Those two morons, they'll be expelled! We can't tolerate such behavior in this school. I understand. I'm just glad you know the truth now. I bet you'd make a really good detective when you're older. I'm so proud of you, Dylan. Uncovering the real thieves was quite an achievement. Well done, son. Thanks, Dad. And I've been thinking, I think I want to go to school and be a detective. Oh. Yeah, and not just any detective. I want to use this camera and whatever skills I develop to help solve crimes. And maybe I'll find out what happened to my birth parents. Dylan, I, I don't get why you don't just let that go. I've done everything in my power to protect and support you, and you keep bringing up those bums. Of course you have. But there has to be more to it, Dad. I mean, why did they leave me? You have to understand that some people are just bad. They probably have no reason at all. Well, even if they didn't, I still deserve to know. And I need to find this out for myself. Promise me you won't look into this anymore, Dylan. Uh, leave the past in the past. I can't make that promise. Now that I'm 18, I can make my own decisions. Well, as your father, I can't stand by and watch you hurt yourself like this. If this is what you want, then fine. Just don't expect me to support you in this. How can I help you, boys? I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. I was born here 18 years ago, and I need some information about my parents. Well, why don't you just go ask them yourself instead of wasting my time? Dude, he was abandoned when he was born. Please, you, you need to help him. Ugh, must be tough not knowing your own parents. Let me see what I can find. Hmm, strange. There's practically no information about your parents here. Like at all. Uh, what does it say? See for yourself. All it mentions is that your parents left in a hurry and Dr. Thomas chose to adopt you. Let me see that real quick. Hey, hey, hey. These records belong to the hospital. Not you, idiot. No photo. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think it'd be a problem. Now, if you don't mind, I've got patients to see. Both of you, get out. Great. Another dead end. Boss, I think I found it. There's got to be something on my parents out there somewhere. I just need to find it. What's my next move? Hey, kid. What are you snooping around at the hospital for, huh? Uh, just some information about my parents. I've never met them. Have you been following me? Yeah, 18 years old, right? Yeah, you're the kid I've been looking for. Looking for me? Uh... Listen, man, I don't know who you are. You might not, but my boss has been waiting for you. No, I, I think you've got the wrong person. Oh, oh, I don't think so. You're coming with me. What the? Ah! <laughs> oh, ow. Where am I? <laughs> Wake now, are we? Who are you? Where the heck am I? Name's Brooks, and you're going to tell me everything about your family and where they're hiding. My family? I've been trying to find them myself. I don't know where they are. You really think we believe that? My boss and I have been after them for years. Now tell me what you know. I don't know anything. I guess you're just going to have to stay in that cell until my boss comes here. He really wants to talk to you. <laughs> oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, I need to get out of here. Come on, maybe I can just... Whoa, huh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, my camera, perfect. I've got to find out some information. Maybe something that will tell me who this Brooks guy works for. Hmm, what is this? Files labeled the Turners. I wonder if this has anything to do with my parents. Whatever, I, I don't have time. I'll just take it and I'll find a way out of here. Now, where am I? I don't think I've ever been in this part of town before. Ugh, kinda gives me the creeps. 
You all look like you're from around here. What is a kid like you doing in this part of town, huh? I'm, uh, lost. Can you tell me actually how to get out of here? No, I don't think you're going nowhere, kid. Hand over everything you got. Uh, no. Oh, great. We got a runner. <laughs> There's no escaping me, punk. I said leave me alone. Hey, stop right there. Uh-oh. I'm out of here. Are you okay, kid? What happened? I was kidnapped and brought here, and, and that guy was trying to rob me. Kidnapped? Well, that's serious. Get in the car. I'll take you home. Thank you, officer. How did you end up in the bad part of town? You could have been hurt, Dylan. I was brought there. Somebody kidnapped me. Kidnapped you? Who? All I know is that his name was Brooks, and he's working for someone. Oh, this is insane. Who would want to kidnap you? I don't know, but I think I'm close. Really close to finding out about my parents. He wanted to know about them. Oh, I told you to stop looking into this. Nothing good can come out of it. Look what happened so far now. I just want to know who they were. I need closure. And what about me? About the father that has been here for you every step of the way. Why isn't that enough? It is. I appreciate everything you've done for me, Dad. But I need to find my own answers. If you're going to keep putting yourself in danger, then maybe you should make your own choices somewhere else. Are you kicking me out? You know what? Fine. If that's how you feel, then maybe I will leave. I just can't believe he kicked me out. So sorry, man. But that could be pretty overprotective. And I don't care about that now. All I want to do is find out about my real parents, dude. And I think this is the key. What's that? I found this earlier while I was escaping that sketchy guy, Brooks. I think it's a file on my parents. What? No way. Uh, what does it say? Well, it says here, my real parents' names are the Turners. I wonder, if these people have so much information on your parents, why are they still searching for them? Hey, look, there's an address here. Uh, maybe it's a lead. I mean, it's worth checking out, but we need to be really careful, Mac. Clearly that kidnapper and whoever he works for knows about this place too. Don't worry, we'll be ready for them. And this time, you won't be alone. Well, this is it. It must be the Turner's house, I think. Man, seems like no one's been here in like 20 years. <coughs> God, it stinks in here. Come on, let's just look around. Maybe there's something that Brooks guy missed. Hey, yo, check it. Curiosity got the best of me. <laughs> okay, now this is weird. What is down there? I don't know. Uh, maybe we should go. We can't turn back now. Uh, okay. What? What were my parents doing with a place like this? Oh, it looks like a lab or something. Hey, check this out. Looks like they were working on a project at some warehouse located in town. Well, I guess we found our new place. We have to investigate that ASAP. I'll meet you there tonight. I gotta head home before my parents kill me. Okay, Let's just be safe and keep your eyes open, okay? Got it. Well, I've got some time to kill before Mac and I go to that warehouse. Guess I can just hang out and take some pictures. Dylan? Oh, it's been a while. Oh, uh, hi, Dad. Yeah, it really has. Any, uh, any luck finding your parents? Not yet. But listen, I want you to know, I appreciate everything you've done for me, and I mean it. You gave me an incredible life, Dad, but I've always wanted to find out why they left me all those years ago. I understand. Everyone needs closure. Just don't forget about me and everything I did for you, okay? I care about you so much, son. Of course I won't forget. Once I meet them, I promise, I'll come find you. Just stay safe, okay? I'm worried about you. I would hate to see something bad happen to you. I'll be safe. I promise. Keep your eyes open for clues, Mac. There has to be something here. Maybe someone. Hello? Hello, is anybody here? Hey, if anyone's here, please come out. Hello, Dylan. Hi. <laughs> Uh, who are you? Shut up! I asked the question, you dumb idiot! The name's Donald J. Finkleberry. Finkleberry? That's kind of a dumb name. <gasps> Rude! 
Whatever. I've been trying to catch your parents for 18 years, punk. Oh, yeah? We'll find them before you do. Oh, I doubt it, you big dumb baby. This trap will definitely lure them out once they know I have their stupid son. <laughs> Mac, run! Minion, get him! Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you doing? Are you stupid? Get them, you fat idiot! I'm trying, Finkleberry. Just give me a second. Ah, Minion, you suck! They got away! Dylan, I'm done. I'm done! What are you talking about? We're so close to finding my parents! Listen, I, I wanted to help, I really did. You've been my best friend forever. But getting shot at? Ah, that's where I draw the line. This is way out of our league. Mac, we can't just stop now. We should have called the cops from the start. This isn't our fight. Oh, like the cops did such a great job catching my kidnapper? Dude, it's just us against them now. So what am I gonna do? And that's the problem. I didn't sign up for a war. This is too deep. We can't give up, not when we're this close. Yes, we can, before we get ourselves killed! Mac, I need you, dude. You're my best friend, Dylan. I love you like a brother, but I can't do this anymore. So, what am I gonna do now? Just go home, Dylan, before something really bad happens. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Dylan, uh, what are you doing here? I got myself into some trouble, and I'm really sorry for everything. Trouble? Uh, son, w what happened? Mac and I went looking for my parents, and we almost got caught by those kidnappers again. Dylan! I know, I know. I should have never gone looking for them. I mean, you've always been here for me, and I feel like I probably took that for granted. No, it's okay, son. Everyone needs to find out where they came from. I understand that. But I should have appreciated what I had here with you. You've been searching for a family. But remember, you don't have to search far. I'm here for you, Dylan, always. But come on, I want you to come back. And look at you, you look starving. Get you something to eat. Uh, oh, uh, I'll get it. What the, what do you want? Where's your son? He isn't home. What do you want with him? Ugh, you'll have to do that. What? Ugh! Dad? Dad, where are you? Dad! Oh no, Dad! Where are they taking him? Oh my gosh, this is all my fault. What is this? Some kind of note? I have your dad, loser? Surrender or you'll never see him again? Finkleberry. For all I know, you could have written this yourself. Why would I write this? I don't know. People do crazy stuff all the time. You have to believe me. I think these are the same people who kidnapped me before. Oh, right. You were kidnapped. You know, we searched high and low after your last report and never found anyone that matched your description. It's just because you haven't found them yet. Hey, you better watch it, kid. This is my job here. Look, I'm not making this up. These people are dangerous and my dad is in trouble. You know what I think? I think you're just a kid looking for some attention. Attention you probably never got from your parents. Oh, fine. If you're not going to help me, I'll figure it out myself. Okay, Dylan, think, think. You've got to find Finkleberry. You're Dylan, right? Who wants to know? Me. I know where your parents are. I can take you to them if you'd like. Oh, yeah? And why should I trust you, huh? The name is Detective Jones. I've been on the hunt for Finkleberry and his little sidekick, Brooks, for a while now. You've gotten yourself wrapped up in something pretty big. Well, how do I know I can trust you? You don't. But right now... I might be your best shot at getting your dad back and meeting your real parents. I don't have many options, do I? Nope, not many, but you've got me. Now, come on, kid. I don't want you to be late to the family reunion. Okay, this is it. This is where Detective Jones said they would be. All right, here goes nothing. Mom? Dad? I can't believe you're all grown up. It feels like just yesterday. The last time I saw you, you were just born and Dr. Thomas was holding you. Yeah, because he's the one who raised me after you two abandoned me. And now he's in danger because of you. I need answers now. We'll answer anything you ask. Why did you leave me? 
We did it to protect you, Dylan. We're scientists, son, and we've been working on something that can be very dangerous if it falls into the wrong hands. It could mean the end of the world. Oh my gosh, you can't be serious. Finkleberry and Brooks, they've been after our work, trying to exploit us. Someone told him it was really expensive and now he wants it all for himself. So wait, hold on. You didn't abandon me because you didn't want me? Of course not. You've always been our everything. We thought you'd be safer, far away from all of this. But now that you're here, you're in danger too. Everything's just a blur right now. I'm worried about my dad, but Detective Jones has been trying to help. Jones is one of our best agents. We'll figure this out together, son. Don't worry. What are you doing here, Dylan? Trying to hide from those maniacs again? I finally found the Mac. I found my parents. But what you did? Seriously? Yeah, but it's not what I expected. Why? Are you okay? I don't know. I thought it would fill this void, you know. I just still feel kind of lost. You've been so focused on finding them that you've lost sight of the family right in front of you, man. Dr. Thomas has always been there. I know, I know, and now he's in danger because of me. That guy Finkleberry's taking him. Oh, come on. I need your help, Mac. To get evidence, to get Finkleberry arrested, and to save my dad. Look, I want to help you. I really do. But I can't keep risking my life for this. Finkleberry is a lunatic. You need to find another way. This is where Finkleberry tried to trap Mac and me. Oh, it's a shady place, all right. And that was a tough one to find. You managed to remember all of this just from a few snaps of that little camera? Yeah, photography's always helped me remember things better. The details, especially. With that kind of observational skill and memory, you'd make quite the detective with the right training. Thanks, uh, I've been told that before, too. But it looks like it's not going to do me any good. What do you mean? I mean, look around. There are no clues. There's nothing. We're at a dead end. Finkleberry's a slimy, no good, rotten, disgusting, smelling man. He must have hightailed it out of here after you ran away. I need to find my dad, Jones, and fast. Well, I think we might need to broaden our search. Come on, let's head out. We gotta start back from square one. Boss, I found them. Where? They're leaving the old warehouse now. Kill them, you fool! They'll lead us straight to the Turners! <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Soon, Dr. Thomas. Soon enough! I'll not only have your pathetic son, but his genius parents as well. Uh, hey, you have spinach in your teeth. It's for my lean cuisine! Shut up! What do you want, Finkleberry? What's your end game? The world, dear doctor. <laughs> the world! My son will stop you. He'll come for me. Oh my gosh, he's not even your real son, you bozo. You just adopted the dumb baby. Just wait and see, Barkberry. <gasps> Rude! You're pretty brave, you know, helping me search for Dr. Thomas like this. Well, I was the one that got him into this mess. If only I hadn't been so focused on finding my real family and appreciated what I had. Yeah, but we all make mistakes. Dr. Thomas will understand. I bet he's more worried about you right now than anything else. You think he'll ever forgive me? Look, kid, I'm not a shrink, okay? I'm a detective. But it's what parents do. They forgive. Yeah, I sure hope he does. Freeze! <laughs> I've got you now! Not on my watch. Ha! Ah! Whoa, that was close. Ugh, minions of Finkleberry. They've never been the strong top. Trash, honestly. So we're gonna arrest this guy, right? Well, we might be able to get some information out of him. But it's strange. He was waiting for us here. Who knows how long he's been here? Exactly. This isn't good, Dylan. Go talk to your parents, now. Great, just great. Now that idiot Brooks found us. It's only a matter of time before the rest of Finkleberry's goons show up. We need to move fast to protect what we've created. Finkleberry can't get his hands on it. We have to go to the lab and move our experiments. So, I guess this is goodbye then. No, it doesn't have to be. Come with us, Dylan. Join us, your real family. What about Dr. Thomas? The police will find him. You don't need him anymore. You have us now. What? No, Dr. Thomas is my real family. You're just people who left me. Good luck with your experiments. 
I'm gonna go save my real dad. This is it. Finkleberry's lair. I've been looking for this place for years. So that minion talked, huh? Oh yeah. And all I had to do was give him food that wasn't Ling Cuisine. Huh. Weird. We're both gonna go in there. And if you find your father, free him and get him out immediately. I'll handle Finkleberry. Good luck, Dylan. Man, this place does smell like moldy cheese. Oh my gosh. Dad! Dylan! Dad, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'll be fine. Just uh, don't play any Taylor Swift music for a while. If I hear Cruel Summer one more time, I swear I'll... Oh, oh, never mind. All that matters is I'm safe now. Thank you, son, for saving me. Oh, I'm so happy you're all right. I can't believe I got you into this. Uh, I've always understood your need to know, your thirst for the truth. Maybe I should have been more understanding of that. No, no, Dad, it's me who should be apologizing. You gave me everything and I... It's okay. You don't need to say anything, son. We just need to get out of here. You're right. Just one thing first. I'm gonna take some pictures of this stuff. You know, for the police. Uh, good thinking, son. Gillen! Gillen! Finkleberry, he's escaped! Yet again, my plans are ruined! Just gotta get on my yacht. Well, the yacht I'm gonna steal. Not so fast, Finkleberry. No! How the heck did you find this place? Maybe don't leave your escape plan lying on your desk. Escape plan on my desk? I told that imbecile minion to hide it! It's the end of the line for you, Finkleberry. You're under arrest, and you're going to jail for a long, long time. Whatever, okay? You think I care? I'll be back, you idiot! I'll be back! <laughs>